Good evening. Today I'm going to install um, Linux on a tablet, a 10 inch tablet. As you could all read in the news, that uh, this year, 2015, uh, the first Linux tablet will come online around February or March, April. So, um, yeah, I thought, well, let's create one. In uh, part one, we created the USB and uh, we downloaded the C, the firmware the, the OS called Mint Linux 17.1 and we're gonna install it and the tablet is here in front of me here it is it's at this moment running it's running Android see that this is Android 5.02 but as promised we're gonna change sticks and we're gonna kill the beats so there we go one two three four five six seven eight goodbye F11 and we go from the USB okay there we go here you can see start Linux Mint in compatibility mode I would say let's start up in compatibility mode for now let's see if there are some problems that will show up in here hope you can read it a little bit It's a lot of avocadabra. I don't think you really interested to know what this what it's saying. Begin setting up automatic login done. Automatic login done. Automatic host name done. Possibility disabling update in tra in trumps useless blah blah. A lot of things. I'm sure you can read it and want to read it when uh, when you're installing it if it will let you and let's see do we have touch yes touch screen is working and Linux Mint is up for the second time I know machines that boot that long eh? So this was pretty fast for two times. Okay, let's try to connect to the internet again. Because this is ridiculous. But I cannot type, you see that? In some way it's also busy here. Let me remove this and put it back. Yes, I can type now. It was just a stupid keyboard so we are connected to the internet now you see that we are connected we're gonna hit install Linux Mint and this can also be done on any laptop eh, people just hit it one time otherwise it's gonna take hours it's now reading from the stick whatever it should load and it will load it now in the next step I'll get back to you the next step was pretty fast here you can see that you can choose and look the update is that you can now scroll whatever you need to scroll just like in Android you see that they updated that you don't need to put your hands here anymore you see that is one update already we can put it in Dutch just to show our Dutch people that it's possible you can also do it in other languages many languages out there yo it's already connected to the internet here you can see uh, it's not connected to the power but I'm gonna go for it it has more than 50% battery this is not some stupid tablet that you know okay here you can see uh, there is no operating system found on the computer that while there is an operating system on there um, Android but Linux does not see that as a real operating system you understand so we're gonna choose the first one here 
uh, wipe the drive and install Linux Mint. And then we just hit install. And then we will have to put in some credentials. And then we just hit next. And it will now partition the drive. Wipe everything on it. And then, my friends, we will tell them, because we said that we want the Dutch, you know, we are now, um, of course, showing that we're in Amsterdam. But that could also be Suriname, uh, Linux. They also speak Dutch there. Okay, so uh, we're going to go for US English keyboard with dead keys. Because I have no Euro signs here. I'm gonna call this top Linux, yeah, and the login will be studio, and the password will be oops, anything you want it to be. Let me go to next anything you want it to be and up here automatic log on okay alrighty is everything okay that's not of your concern oh I must make strong password underscore <laughs> underscore one <laughs> how about that they say it's reasonable. This, but I cannot hit next. Why? I cannot hit next. Why? Oh, I must make it small. Uh, you see, I'm stupid. And I can just make this as weak as I wish. Otherwise, I'm gonna forget because this is not a daily device I'm using. So now we can hit next with our very weak password. We made a real weak password. And if this is done, peeps, I'll get back to you. Cool, ain't it? We're installing Linux on a tablet. Well, you know, um, doing this is not possible on any tablet. The tablet must has a x86 architecture. So if it's not x86, this will not be possible. Okay, remember that. Um, we will now just let the install go. Uh, and you must keep in mind that if you need certain stuff, such as a keyboard, you will have to install one out of the App Store. So doing this will, in the first place, you will need a keyboard because there's no, like, at least probably there is, but I could not uh, immediately find it. And I installed this thing with a keyboard. So, you know, um, yeah, we'll have to find out how to, you know, get a keyboard in the thing so we can use it like a 100% tablet. Uh, I think it should be possible. I already saw that in 17.1 the guys did something about the scrolling system you know normally you have a little um, side uh, bar that you must touch and then you can you know like in Windows but now the guys also made you know the text scrollable you can scroll it as a wheel fantastic great job there Linux great job so we're gonna wait for this to uh, install and when this is done I'll get back. Here you can see that, um, well, it was, there you can see it again. It's downloading files at this moment from the internet. So that's why it's necessary to, you know, to connect to the internet before doing the installation. Otherwise you won't get the updates that, you know, it needs to install to get this thing running. And well, you see that 97 files. It just uh, got from the internet so the thing is now connected to the Linux Mint server online and these will you know uh, make sure that I will get everything that I need soon we also gonna install Linux Mint on this uh, 12 inch uh, power book but uh, 
you must uh, give me some time because I still have some testing to do and soon you know I'm gonna release the video of uh, the PowerBook running Mint Linux the same uh, operating system that we're installing at this time on this 10 inch tab. There we go. Installation is done, restart and soon you can also remove the USB stick. Don't remove it as yet. It still has some stuff to do. It needs to restart the computer. So there we go. And then it said it will say remove the stick and hit enter. Oh, it didn't say that. Normally it does. So now it's gonna boot from the baby. And this will be a real time boot after installation. The coolest thing of Linux Mint is that it has its own app store built in, eh, peeps? There you go. It locked on automatically. And sorry for the reflection of the light, eh? Oh, what is that? Toch irritant? I was saying that it's really irritating. And there we go. Opa! We must wait a second and everything works as it should and these things that you see here they look kind of big but what you should do is uh, get a mouse you know you will need some right clicks some right mouse clicks and then you can make the menu you can make it bigger i cannot really get a right mouse click here but we need to go on the or maybe with two fingers Maybe two fingers, hold on. No. But it's running and up. And the App Store is here. Let me see if this changed. No, this is still the same. Well, let's see. And all the. No, this is not scrolling. You see that? We still need the bar to, to scroll. That is, that is uh, probably for version 18. You know? We need to put our finger on the bar to scroll. So, in fact, this Linux uh, distribution is for a mouse because you also see a mouse, you know. But, um, yeah, you can use it, of course, with touch. And if you, you know, um, make the icons a little bit bigger, you can do many things with this thing. You can make it like a Windows <laughs> tablet you can make it as an apple tablet you can make it as your own whatever kind of tablet you can change the the the, the little um icon there it's called what's it called the orb you know you can change so many things uh, let me see if we can get into you see that we really need a right mouse uh for the right mouse click we really need a mouse because you know clicking two times or holding the screen will not give us a right mouse click so we'll have to fix these little things but as you can see peeps it's running and up android tablet yes we can go on the internet of course we can go on the internet if i can find my internet so here we just go to internet and we hit mozilla firefox and it will bring us straight to linux mint community you see that of course uh, you can change your start page into anything you want but i advise that you take a look here they also did nothing about the yeah you still need the sidebar to scroll the page but uh, of course you can get uh, a little tools there are many tools that you can get out of the app store and the app store you find here software but here uh, you must log in with your password and then up here you will get into the app market of linux mint and the app market has many thousands of apps to offer it takes a while before it starts up hmm. 
I'm not even sure if I started it. Software over here. So let's give it a password and give it OK. We inserted our password and then you will see that the App Store will start up as a charm. Here it is. Also, the nice big icons, easy to touch. You see that? And up here, you can just search for, for instance, a keyboard. Keyboard. There we go. A virtual keyboard, you know. Uh, here you can see virtual keyboard. So let's go for that one. And then we just hit install. Hit the enter or so. And then here install. And that will give you this keyboard here. Of course, you can also look for um, yeah other stuff such as uh, a media player, but there are already media players in here. You know, um, there are several stuff that you uh, can do already, but there are many things that you can still go and find. And here you can see all the subdirectories. You know, music. Uh, tools, office, graphics, uh, programming, education and school, you know, uh, system stuff. So you can find almost everything in here. Don't forget your password, by the way. You know, don't forget the password. So there you go. I think it looks really nice. Of course, if you don't have a keyboard yet, you can also go here and change you know several things such as uh the backgrounds uh you can put here some extra icons you see that we just got these icons here uh bada bum patining and terminal the background should be done somewhere else, I think. And uh, we have so many other things that we can go and discover and do now with our tablet. Thanks to the virtual keyboard. This was not a video about how uh, Linux Mint works, but this is a video of creating the Mint Linux or the Linux 10 inch tablet. And here it is in front of you. It's been created. It's out there on the view sunning, running and up a very beautiful 10 inch tablet you know running the latest version of linux mint peeps this was my video not gonna make it any longer i think i showed more than enough how to do it and you can go do it uh, yourself just go to linuxmint.com download your you know your favorite version i went for mate because i can do many crazy things with mate and i might show it in the next video what i'm what i'm gonna do still with this and then you will see and maybe get some motivation to also try it you can of course install this on any computer and uh, we also gonna install this on a mac powerbook 12 inch from 2006 or 2007 it's lying there it's running uh leopard 10.5.8 and it runs it amazing so i'm really happy about how it runs so no bad words about that old power book there it's gonna run mint linux as well peeps thanks for watching like subscribe and till my next video bye bye <laughs>